In this video, I'm going to show you how we converted a children's timber bed into this porch swing. business front porch properties here in Brisbane and this home is one that we bought and then started to renovate at the beginning of 2018 and then at the end of 2018 we finished the renovation and sold it. If you'd like to see more of this renovation just hit the subscribe button to get notifications of other videos. One of the questions that I've had uh, a lot is regarding this porch swing and so I want to show you really quickly how we built it so that perhaps you can build one for yourself. So for the purpose of making this video we have uh, completely removed all of the styling and all of the cushions so that you can see exactly what's going on. So step number one is to work out what size porch swing you need. It's really important to make sure that you get something that's not too big or too small for your space. Getting the right scale is really important to make sure that it looks right. So we have a really large porch, it's nearly 5 metres wide by 6 metres. So we wanted a large porch swing to fill the space. What we worked out was that the size we needed was approximately 2 metres by 1 metre. And then it occurred to us, well that is actually the size of a standard children's bed. So obviously this hack is only um, good for you if you have a large porch as well that can accommodate a porch swing this size. So step number two was to find a children's bed. We actually got this one off Gumtree and we did pay a little bit for it just because it was uh, we were in a hurry and it was what was available at the time. It's solid Oregon timber as well and it was maybe two or three hundred dollars. Um, but I'm sure with a bit more time and effort you could probably find one for much cheaper or even free. Step number three was to do the mods and to paint it. Obviously the purpose behind repurposing a children's bed was to save a huge amount of time and effort on carpentry and having to build something from scratch. So that was the benefit of approaching it this way. Um, so the things that we did, um, number one, we cut off the legs. Number two, we replicated the bed head. This end is the original timber bed head and Simon uh, duplicated this piece and made this one and installed this one on the end. The next thing we did was add these two timber rails along the back. This is actually um, fencing timber and that functions as the back of the chair. And the other thing we did was add these timber supports to the base of the bed. They are screwed on with batten screws and you can see that this is where the rope goes. And the last thing we did was paint it pink. <laughs> Couldn't find a bigger brush, dude. I know better Step number four was to install it. I actually went to a specialty rope shop here in Brisbane and bought this uh, farmer's style rope. It's 30 mil. And how we've attached it is using a screw eye hook, a really strong one. That it was screwed into the ceiling and then a carabiner which you can see the rope is looped around and then Jesse one of our carpenters kind of re-twisted and re-knotted the rope but I suppose you could also use some kind of clamp instead and the last thing we did was um, went to Clark Rubber to buy a standard children's mattress and then I found this spot, this fabric, just at Spotlight actually, and then had it properly upholstered. So that's our porch swing hack. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>